also that you watch over our uh, soldiers that are in harm's way, and that you bring them home safely as you see fit. And once again, on this meeting, we ask that you, that you lead us and guide us and that your will be done in everything that we do here tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. say that uh, the town uh, the town had a big year when it comes to grants and whatnot in that year. Uh, we'll go over some of those grants in a moment and uh, let you know about those. Uh, also, year for the year, the uh, town did finish on an uptick, finished more with profit for the year. So uh, we're going to go over some of the things real quick at some high point. As y'all know, my, my door is open after you. We go over this quickly. Y'all look over at yourselves. We'll ask you can come by my office and we'll answer any questions you have on it, okay? Uh, first page I want you to look at if you would is let's look at uh, page I'm gonna get page fifteen. These are our governmental funds. Uh, you'll see we have the general fund, the industrial grant fund, and the sales tax fund. There's also an LCDGB uh, street grant fund. Uh, that's kind of our fund we use to run our street projects through. Uh, you'll see in our general fund, we've got about 200, a little over 200000 or had $200,000 worth of cash in it in June 30, 2010. Uh, our receivables in the general fund are made up of the uh, garbage uh, receivables. Uh, our liabilities here, we have a small amount of accounts payable, some accrued expenses, and then uh, an inner fund payable. The way those work are some of the funds transfer money back and forth. Uh, the industrial grant fund, you'll see we have a little over $700,000 in that fund. Uh, then uh, the main one I want to talk about is the sales tax fund. You'll see in the sales tax fund we have $1.8 million in cash and cash equivalents. And then down at the bottom you see restricted cash, $1.2 million. The restricted cash of $1.2 million, that is the amount that's still in that uh, the sales tax that we collect strictly for the streets. Money, the $1.2 can only be used for the street projects as it, it was dedicated. Uh, let's flip over now to page 18. And on page 18, you'll see our funds, the general fund, the industrial grant, sales tax fund. You'll get a listing of our revenues there. Uh, you'll see intergovernmental, we had about uh, $623,000 worth of grants in the general fund. Uh, You'll see our sales tax, our collections were $2.5 million. Uh, one thing you're going to notice, our, our interest income is down. That's strictly because of the interest rates. I mean, they're down here rock bottom, 1.5%. One, one uh, industrial grant gets its money from rent and also from interest. 
And those are the buildings we rent out at the uh, industrial park and some other buildings that the city does own. Okay, uh, you'll see our expenditures. You'll see them based on our general government, uh, fire protection, police protection, street department, recreation, and then our capital outlay for the year. The capital outlay does look like a big figure, about seven hundred thousand dollars. But if you look up the intergovernmental, was six hundred and something thousand. That's your grants, and, and the vast majority of your grant money that comes in has to be spent on capital outlay. Okay, uh, you'll see in the sales tax fund, uh, you'll see a capital outlay of three hundred fifty-four thousand dollars. That was due to the street projects. Uh, as y'all know, we got some grants, and to get these grants, we had to spend money ourselves, and that's the money that we spent towards our uh, project out of our sales tax fund. Okay. Uh, over on the next page, or, or probably on the page you've got over there, you'll see the LCDGB grant. Uh, that was a $600,000 that we received for the street projects. Okay. Again, as I said, it takes money to make money. The LCDGB uh, sent some money in. We got some other grants, but part of that was we had to keep getting some money. Again, as I have told y'all in the umpteen years that I've been here, if you've got money, you can get money from the state because a lot of funds are matching funds. Okay? Uh, you'll see our total governmental funds, you see our total capital outlay in the governmental funds was almost $2 million. We received grants just in the governmental fund of $1.2 million. I think there was also almost a half million dollar grant we got for sewer rehab and whatnot. Part of those governmental grants, I think the mayor, you can tell me if I missed one. We had the Havard Street project got finished. Uh, we had the uh, street uh, the street projects. We got six hundred thousand. Uh, there was some money for an airport study, and I'm not sure was there was one other pretty good one. What was that? That was part of the, that's going to be in the sewer rehab in the, in the proprietary fund. The community center was the other big project in the museum. And the parking lot. Yes, yes. Uh, now if you'll flip over to page 24, we'll look at our proprietary fund, which is our water and sewer fund. This is the balance sheet of our water and sewer fund. You see we have over a, a little over half a million dollars in our cash there. You'll see restricted cash of 400000 Based on our uh, on our loans, we're required to keep money put away as uh, for obligations and whatnot. That's the money in there. that We can not touch that money until these loans are paid off. Uh, again, we've got about half a million dollars in cash. But as everybody knows, one thing goes wrong in this water and sewer department, <laughs> that money can go in a hurry. Okay? You'll see our expense, our liabilities down there, the biggest ones you'll see. Uh, you'll see customer deposits. Again, that money is included up in the restricted cash. Uh, we have deposits from our customers of about $150,000. Uh, you see the notes paid. Uh, we're probably in the neighborhood of a little over $3 million in uh, notes between USDA and Farmers Home. Uh, and that's where we're at there. Now, flip over to the next page, and you'll see our uh, revenues and expenditures. Uh, you'll see the water sales and the sewer sales. Uh, get a listing and a breakdown of our expenses right there. Uh, also in the non-operating revenues, you'll see the intergovernmental, and that's the DEQ project you were talking about right there. Uh, I don't know if that one was finished yet at the end of the year. I think there was still some money coming in on that, wasn't it? I think the million dollars. Uh, now, let me explain to you a little bit about this, this grant, because it was something new to me. Uh, it was, it was ARRA funds from the federal government. And it came through because we, if y'all remember, we had to go through this big process of, of basically approving a loan. Okay? 
So when I call down to the state, because of the way our state laws are written, everybody else's states were just giving the money out as grants. Ours came across as a loan. But the way they explained it to me, the day you receive the money is the day the loan gets forgotten. Okay, that's why we're handling all the financial statements as a grant because the day they give you the check is the day you no longer own it. Oh, we need more. Okay. Uh, we'll flip over. I'm going to go through a couple of the notes uh, and let y'all get on with your, uh, with your meeting. A uh, little bit about our cash. Uh, we've got about uh, almost a... Uh, Five million dollars in cash. Uh, uh, this is page 34. We've got about five million dollars in cash, but as you'll see, 1.6 million dollars of that five million is basically restricted cash. That is cash from our sales tax fund for the uh, roads, also the restricted cash that's in our uh, in our uh, proprietary in our water and sewer fund. Uh, all of our funds were collateralized with the exception of about 131000 at one bank. I think that has since been rectified. But what happens is, is as we get these grants, get large amounts of money in, if it's not stayed on every day, we fall below those uh, those collateralized amounts. Uh, but that's just, that's a minor thing, and that's something that a lot of governments need to count. Uh, Property taxes, property taxes this year were about $200,000 that were levied. Uh, again, uh, our tax base is not increasing, so the only way we're going to get extra property taxes is raise the building. That's it. Uh, flip over to page 35 and just let you look at some of the capital projects and what all we we increased this past year. Uh, under the governmental activities, under capital assets, you'll see we had additions of 359000 uh, A large portion of that was the uh, community center and the museum. Okay. Uh, also, you see some equipment, other structures and improvements. The other structures and improvements are going to be your street projects, your street projects, whatnot. Uh, you see the business type. Uh, we had some additions to the water plant, and then the big, the biggie there is the sewer plant. That's what that DEQ grant that we got there. Uh, you'll flip over now to page 39. We'll take a look at our debt real quick and give you an idea of what we're looking at there. Uh, the, the CEOs. It looks like Farmer's Home, uh, we owe them about $681,000. We owe USDA $2.9 million. Uh, we have a, a lease we're still paying on for Ford Motor Credit. And on the next page, also a lease on John Deere on a piece of equipment that we bought. Uh, you'll see that we are required to, uh, under our loans of the FHA on page 40, uh, we have some set of side funds, and those are some of those restricted cash funds that you see in the uh, proprietary fund. Flip over to page 43. <coughs> and on page 43, this is what's going to show you our grants that came in this past year. Uh, from the state, we received capital outlay of... Uh, $441,000. We received a $175,000 roughly from the Louisiana Department of Transportation. And then you'll see our uh, our federal funds we received, the Department of Transportation, $6,095. I think that was an airport study. Uh, community Development Block Grant, $600,000 was for the streets. Uh, the $471,000 was from the DEQ. All in all, $1.7 million worth of grants came in for that year. Okay? Again, the engineers and all will vouch for this 95 to 99 percent of everything that comes in is, is, is capital outlay. You spend it for your spring your grant money. Okay? Um, 
just a couple of things. Uh, is, is, you know, with the town, we've talked before, the town, income-wise, it's very hard for the town to increase revenues. Okay? Any projects we like to do have to probably come through grants because of the fact that town's got operating money, but as far as big projects, we don't have a lot of money for that. Okay. We are in good standing with our cash, so if there is a chance to get a grant and it calls for matching, we're in a position to get it. The town has always been in a position to get matching fund grants, and that's what people like to hand out. Uh, you know, as far as our, our regular recurring income, it's going to be hard for it to increase. Okay. Hard for it to increase. I would say we need to really, really push these grants. We really, really need to look for these grants. I know the, the, the chief here, he needs some extra people. Hopefully we can get some of these grants and stuff and get some extra people in here. One of the things that Lester and I have talked about with the COPS grant, that the deal where I think it's, it's a four-year grant, they pay three of the four years. One thing Lester and I came across when we talked about it, our turnover is so high, nobody ever really gets that fourth year. So if the town can find grants like that, it's probably not going to cost the town much because by the fourth year, we've replaced it with somebody else who hopefully we've gotten under the cops grant. So those are the things that the town's got to do to keep doing better is grants, grants, grants. If you can find grants, that's how we're going to have to do major improvements to our town. <coughs> Out here at the industrial park, our streets, as y'all see, we're fixing it. They're going to look nice when we get them finished whenever we get the rain stopped. Uh, so if y'all have any questions, feel free to come by my office, and, and I'll be happy to go over the reading every week. Okay? If y'all have any questions before I go?